If somebody sends you a database that has a bunch of names, either all in uppercase, lowercase, and you want to be able to convert it either one way or the other, then first of all, to go ahead and convert it, let's pick a cell over to the right hand side and insert a function by hitting the equals key on the keyboard. And in this case, if you want to convert this name to all lowercase, then go ahead and type in the first couple of letters for lower. It brings up the function here, and you can see in the pop up next to it, it converts all letters into a text string to lowercase. Now to go ahead and to open up the function, it's already selected, just hit the tab key on the keyboard and it pops it open. And you can see in the syntax it says go ahead and select the text. Well, we're going to select the cell over here that contains the text that we want to convert all to lowercase. Select it. Once it's selected, you can see the marching ants around it. Go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard and hey, there you go. Max Klinger all in lowercase. And vice versa, if you want to go ahead and take one of these names and have it in all uppercase, then instead of lower, it's going to be upper. So hit the equals key on the keyboard, U, P, well there you go. It's right there, converts the text string to all uppercase letters, hit the tab key to pop open the function, select the cell, hit enter, and it's all uppercase. Then if you want to go ahead and continue that with all uppercase, select the cell that contains the formula or function, hover over the lower right hand corner until you get a black cross, then you can go ahead and click and drag that, and that's called the uh, autofill handle, as we discussed in an earlier training video, that will copy and paste over that function. And it's a relative reference, and it needs to be, because if it was constant, it would always reference the same row, Bob Appleman. But it's relative, so it'll update it. So the uh, function you can see in cell H8 is referring to the current row that it's in, K8. And then when it comes down here to 9, you can see it's referring to row 9. And then the shortcut for the uh, quick autofill for the entire column is, again, get the black cross there in the lower right-hand corner and double-click really fast. Hey, isn't that fancy? And then, of course, you can always select this here and click and drag up to include Max Klinger, but he's already in uppercase. Nonetheless, you can go up or down, left or right with the autofill handle. And then, if you want to go ahead and keep this and replace the results of the function here over into the name column, you need to go ahead and select the range here and right click on the selection to copy it. And then the uh, marching ants are going around to let you know that you're copying or cutting it. And then just come over here and right click in the first cell and you get all these paste options. Now we don't want the first paste option because you can see when I hover over it, the preview shows we got a reference error. Because when you're pasting a function over here, and this function is looking over here for the actual values and not another function, you're going to have. A reference error. So the next one is simply pasting the values, the results of the function over there. Go ahead and click on it and you can click in any cell. Look up here in the formula bar. It's not the function, it's the result of the function, which in this case you can see over here was all uppercase Homer Simpson and that's what it's displaying over here. Sweet. Let's go ahead and hit undo a couple of times here. And then hit the escape key on the keyboard to get rid of the copy selection. And the last one that I want to show you is proper. In other words, the proper function is going to convert the first letter in each word to uppercase. So, well, Max Klinger is already completely in uppercase. Let's go down to Bob Appleman. He's all lowercase. Let's make him proper. So the first letter for Bob is going to be in uppercase, and then A for Appleman will be in uppercase. Go ahead and hit the equals key on the keyboard and type in the first couple letters for proper and arrow down to select proper. You can see it converts a text string to proper case, the first letter in each word in uppercase. Hit the tab key to pop it open and then come over here and select the cell that contains the text that you want to go ahead and include in the function. Hit enter and hey, there we go. We got the first letter in each word in uppercase. And then of course you can go ahead and click and drag the autofill handle down to quickly copy and paste in the rest of it or just double click since we're in a column, the shortcut, and then to go up one, let's go ahead and select him, click and drag the black autofill handle up to copy and paste that uh, function up there. And then, of course, be sure to go ahead and select the range, copy it, paste it over here, and in the paste special, just do values. 